Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you step by step process how we can use FreshDAX. I honestly believe that FreshDAX is one of the best customer service softwares on the market and you will see it in this video how many amazing features FreshDAX has. So without further ado, let's start. The first thing you want to do is just click on the link down below in the description to get on the FreshDAX site. And you're going to see it right here on the right top, sign up. Then you want to sign with your first name, add the last name. I'm going to add my email here, add a company as I named it Stone and phone number. And click sign up for free. Let's just wait until it's going to process. And you're going to have, oh, straight away, you're going to see a video of the CEO. And I really like this. This is, I, I know that, but this is cute. Uh, how it just shows up here, it's unusual, it's different. And not a lot of people are doing that. So thumbs up for FreshDex for this. Then get started. Now right here, the first thing first, uh, you need to confirm, upload your photo, add the first name, last name, your email, phone number and company. What you need to do is to also uh, activation email sent to your Gmail account. So we need to actually activate it when the email will come. Then you need to also personalize your help desk. So as you can see, my email just came. I'm going to show it. Look at this. Okay. So right now I'm activating it. I recommend activating it too because you can have full features. And voila. So then you need to add and Add your phone number and enter password. So I'm going to add my phone number here and add a password. When the confirmation email will come, I recommend doing the same thing. Activate the account. Two factor, I can skip it. You can add a two factor if you want to. And voila, here we are. So this is like the dashboard. Uh, what you can do, I'm going to show you straight away the dashboard, but I'm going to you know, get started here. Uh, you can also personalize your help desk. And you can add your own URL and then you can change the logo here. And you can also change the logo background, menu background, but I'm not going to change that because I like the colors. And then you can choose your support channels. FreshDeck lets you talk to your customers with your email, chat, phone, social media and more. Pick the ones that you want to use for your business and get started with them right away. And you can choose the phone, chat forums. Again, completely up to you. You can also have support email. FreshDeck support email. See what your support will look like with the FreshDesk. Link your support mailbox without disrupting your existing support workflow. And then you can also invite your team. But we will get to every single thing in this tutorial. Let's go to our dashboard. In a dashboard, you're going to see unresolved things that you need to solve. Then overdue, due today, open, on hold, unsigned. Then you're going to see the today's trends, how everything is doing. Unresolved tickets on the left bottom. Customer satisfaction and on the right bottom to do. Then you're going to click on tickets. On tickets, you're going to see sort by. You can go sort by by date created. Or you can choose due by time, last modified, priority or status. On the right side, you're going to see layout and you can change it from card view to table view. I personally prefer more table view comparing to uh, card view. And then on the right side, you can see agents by unassigned, by every agent that you have in your organization, groups, account managers, billing, escalations, product management, created last seven days, like the date, resolution due by, first response due by, this is the same today, tomorrow, next eight hours. And then you're going to see like next response due by. And now skill, status, open, pending resolve, like when I'm going to choose open. I'm going to choose like see all the open tickets. Then you can change the priority. Let's say that I want to see only medium priority. And then you have type here. If it's a question, incident, problem, 
feature requests or refunds and returns. And source, if it's coming from portal, phone, forum, Twitter, Facebook. And tags and companies. So this is how you can do it. Now we are going to enter the ticket. How can I get refund, refund for my order? Right here. I can simply reply to it. I can watch it. I can add a note for team, forward, close, merge, delete, or go to three dots here. And I can simply, I'm going to zoom in more, log the time, edit ticket details, print it, add it to spam. So I'm going to reply here. And now, hi, Matt Rogers. My name is Marcus. And in this, and I'm going to help you. So we can easily write a reply. Now, you see that you can add the three dots here that uh, recreate this message. And now what you can do, you can make it bold. These are like the basics in HTML. What you can do with it, you can also insert the code here, or you can simply edit your file. Then you can can't response. Can't response are automatic responses that you can add to your tickets. And let me show you. So you can create a new one. Let me show you how it works. Right here, I can click here, new can response or new folder. So new can response, the automatic response that I can do. And I can response title, edit. Mm, let's go with automatic response. Thank you for messaging us. Farewell and have a great day. You can also attach a file. And well before myself, all agents, agents in group and click save. Can't response is a really great thing. What you can do mm, for personal here. So I'm going to show you. Can't response, automatic response, and I will insert can't response. Voila, here you got it. So when you're going to add it, it will automatically add on the end of the text. Then what you can do is to can't forms, you can do it too. Also with forms, also with our responses. Another thing is suggested solutions. Uh, what are suggested solutions? These are the articles that you need um, for your, like, let's say guidance, what you should do or what the agent should do. So let's say that I'm going to like, okay, when the order is lost, what he needs to done, we will get to it. But this is where you can find the articles and you can simply insert the content, right? I can simply come here and insert the content. So yeah. See? Thanks for messaging you got farewell and have a great package with the invoice. Do 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 do. Amazing, right? So these are the solutions that you can actually for you, but also you can just add them and send them to the customer. Now on the right side you can see that you can change the tags. Uh, you can change the type if it's a ref refunds and returns, incident question, status, if it's pending, resolved, closed, and priority, if it's low, medium, high, urgent, billing, Q&A, replacement, sales, and you can also add an agent. Also on the right side, you're going to see the content details. You can go to time logs and start tracking this time you spend on this ticket. And then you're going to see to do list, what you have to do with the ticket. And you can simply collapse it. You can see the activities, what was happening on the ticket. And this is pretty much it. Now I can choose the status to pending, or I can simply go here and send the reply to the ticket and send at set as pending, resolved or closed. I'm going to send and set as a pending. Okay. Now, voila, we got it. I'm going to click on tickets and right now it's pending the status. So this is how we can simply solve the tickets is nothing really hard to do. Uh, the next thing are contacts and companies. You can simply see the compact, like the contacts here and click on the contact. 
you see the tickets here and the contact that it needs to be solved need to change my shipping address you can actually click on it and start writing and reply or add note whatever when you're going to click on a contact you can merge it you can assume identity you can convert it to agent send activation email or you can change the password you can also create a new ticket on a customer or the agent and you can add tags here also what you can do what i wanted to show you is you can actually click here new next to the get started new ticket new email new contact new company you can simply click new ticket here and you can simply add a contact you can add the subject here you can add a type if it's a question incident problem feature request refunds source open pending resolve closed uh, what kind of priority it is if it's medium high urgent group agent and description and you can simply create it and close then you can also add a new email from me to who subject description you can also add cc and bcc and you can also change the flow the priority and status and then you can also add a new contact with a full name title uh, you need to also add an email you can add a work phone mobile phone and what kind of company it is you just start writing and it's going to search for it and tags language time zone and about and you can simply create it then you can easily also add a new company with the same style with the company name you can upload logo description notes a domain for this company you can add a health score account tier basic premium enterprise renewal date and industry they are in so that's what you can do and you would find them here in companies the next thing are those solutions that solutions are yes i know that they are really great for um, if someone is using that but it's also i believe that it's really great for you uh, if it's, you can actually know immediately where to find something and i get to see the categories here right and get it starting with us your account your order so i can simply add a new article and let's go with title how to be happy type something in this part i will show you how to be happy we can click quick insert you can add image video note info idea templates and i can go like let's say that i want to meditate uh, don't be controlled by emotions by emotions and okay what i can do is to go to save publish i can add it to folder or i can create a new folder if i want to i can add tags and type for search engine description of for, for searching and click publish and folder i'm going to create a new one so folder name is going to be happiness description i'm not going to give any just category uh, getting started with us visible to all users or just agent and order articles manually save and i can go simply publish or i can send it to review voila here you got it so now when i would have a ticket what can i do is to how do i place a custom order i can reply and let's say that he's asking a question how to be happy so suggested solutions and now I see that okay recently inserted and I need to find I don't know how to find it personally how to be happy ah here it is insert content and voila here we have it and here we have a solution so we have a kind response and suggested solutions which is really amazing for sending the solution articles and then you can have chatbots here chatbots we're not going to really make like how you can actually create a chatbot my recommendation if you want to actually play around with the chatbot and manage it uh, you want to 
look on a competition how they use the chatbots and copy the things they have and how you can make it better. That's my recommendation. So we would click try now. While it's loading, uh, you're going to see my bot. You can create a new bot, but I'm going to click on existing bot and then you're going to see uh, the bot here. So hello, and you can have answers here. So I can simply click plus new message. What's your name? And get response. Uh, we can go custom custom details name. What's your name? And this is how we can simply do it, right? And you can add a new version of it. So same thing. New action or new message. What's your name? Get response. Name. Click plus. You can also add an action, trigger API, assign to agent. So when it's going to add a name, it's going to get to the agent. But what you can do is to add a new message and what's your email and get response email. And now what I can do is to click plus again and ask, do you want to get connected to our agent? Get response and I can go with, I mean, I can add a button, add an option. Yes, no. No. Okay. And see, we got this. I can preview the bot here. I don't know why it's not working. Oh, it's right here. Welcome. What can I do with? No name. Okay. Uh, I can go with. Email address again, same style. See, it works flawlessly. See, really easy, but this is like the preview of the published version. This is draft, I need to publish it, but this is how we can simply do it, right? And how we can play around it. You can really customize it as much as you want, but this would be like completely new tutorial on how it's, you can build your own bot. Then the last thing I want to show is when you go to settings, uh, you can actually edit the supported channels with the phone, Twitter, Facebook widgets. General settings here as a help desk. Then you can add name, date former, ticket ID, etc. Portal. You can go also to profile settings and edit things here. Signature. Not so much to do here. And this is pretty much it. I mean, uh, ask me down in the comments, what else would you need to explain? I would make tutorials. Uh, you can like edit ticket fields here. That you want to like, you don't want to have like, I don't know, group here. Or just edit it. As much as you want. Then also what you can do is to edit customer fields. Same style with full name, title, email, work phone, mobile phone. So this is the something that we can again edit. Like what it will ask from you. And then you can edit also agents here. Full time, occasional, etc. So these are the basics what you can do actually in uh, Freshdesk. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.